Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakespeare.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 7. Today we are going to cover the encrypt class and the encryption library. Make sure these are the two different things. So uh, they are using different type of algorithms uh, in encrypt class to encrypt your data or decrypt your data. And they are using the different algorithms in encryptions library. Uh, to encrypt your data or to decrypt your data first of all i am commenting this control shift and your backslash okay so now make sure i am at the index method and we are working on the home controller okay so now what we need i am saying this load now I am loading the library make sure we are working on the libraries sections once you learn how can uh, you create your uh, first of all how can you use those libraries the built-in libraries so uh, we will teach you how can you use your built-in uh, helpers then we are going to discuss how can you create your proper project by using the same classes or same libraries which you learned okay so now i'm saying in this time i'm saying oh just load the library which is encrypt okay encrypt so you have loaded the library in encrypt but before loading or before accessing any method of this library you have to set your own key so go to your home page refresh the page you can see it's saying encryption library required the my crypt m crypt extension okay so now go to your config and uh, go to your config.php file so Control F find key you can see encryptions key here you can use a random number or you can generate your own key it's totally depend upon you refresh the page so now you can see it's saying encryption library required my crypt okay why it's saying encryptions because I have installed PHP 7 in, inside my local machine so that's why it's giving you the error okay so now what i'm doing i'm going to use the encryptions library so because they are providing the encrypt and encryptions library so if you have installed the php5 inside your computer you can see the encrypt library is not working but when we are talking about encryptions that means okay I'm saying encryptions go to your page refresh the page you can see it's working fine because I have installed my uh, PHP 7 inside my local environment so uh, encryptions okay now what I'm doing I'm going to encrypt a specific string for suppose I'm going to encrypt Shakesy and I'm going to uh, I'm saying name for suppose and which method I have to use to encrypt this data so don't worry I'm going to explain each and everything now I'm saying that oh use encrypt this now I'm saying encryption encrypt You can pass this variable here and now I'm echoing this refresh the page encryptions encryptions okay my mistake refresh the page you can see it's generating a huge number or a huge amount of string so you have successfully encrypted your data so you have your string for suppose if you have an integer you can pass your integer like this so it's also in, in, in encrypting your data so once 
you encrypted your data for suppose you can copy this and now below here I am going to decrypt this data so I am saying this encryption and in this time I am saying decrypt make sure I am saying decrypt pass this string here and now echo this out I am using the VR here to break the row refresh the page you can see it's saying 3 okay whenever you refresh the page you can see it's uh, creating the random string refresh the page refresh the page refresh the page okay so in this way you can encrypt your data and you can decrypt your uh, data by using the encryptions class for suppose if you are working on the encrypt class which methods you can use make sure I'm going to explain so you have to load first of all the library I'm saying this load library which library in this time I'm saying encrypt and now which methods you can use to encrypt your data in this time I'm saying the encryptions this encrypt this encrypt I'm saying encode and your data goes here for suppose XYZ or whatever you want to encrypt your data and uh, how can you decode this uh, I'm saying this decode and then your data here similar to this one so you can uh, just use the encryption library and just use the in encode and decode method if you are using the encryption library if you are using the in encryption library you can use the encrypt and decrypt method so i think uh, this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to cover some other libraries uh, for suppose uh, which library i am going to uh, cover okay i'm going to cover the in input library because this is the necessary library for this course and this is the basic thing so if you have any question or confusion feel, feel free to ask me or leave a comment uh, below the video or you can send direct message to my udemy account or you can also send the email to my official email address so thank you for watching